Hello YouTube, Ninja Midget here, and this is going to be a complete disassembly of the Baby Browning Pocket Pistol. This is a little 25 cal pistol, very cool little gun. This one, uh, according to the serial number, is from 1959, uh, is the year that it was manufactured, so um, that's an old gun. You can tell it's seen uh, some use. And I do have some plans for refinishing this gun, but that's not what this video is about. Um, I've been meaning to do a takedown video on one of these for a while. The reason that I uh, hadn't until now was because I figured with this being such a popular little gun, there would be a lot of people who have already done it. So when I decided I'm going to go ahead and tear this down this last week, do a video on it, I naturally started looking around, and there were lots of videos that did teardowns of the gun which ended up being some jackass doing a field strip I've talked about this before how I hate it when people do that this is going to be a real actual teardown of this gun it's only got 32 parts uh, it's a very simple but well thought out design it's a browning design so of course it's going to be a very very nicely thought out and implemented gun and this actually was designed by Browning and these were built to his specifications um, so it is a true Browning um, design okay so first things first we're gonna go ahead and do a safety check not loaded magazine okay so now the first thing we're gonna do with this is you wanna make sure it is not cocked uh, if it's cocked and you take the slide off, then your firing pin and your cocked indicator will be stuck in this position right here in the gun, and it's easy for them to fling out on you. So make sure you pull the trigger, and make sure it's not cocked. Pull the barrel, pull the slide back about a uh, quarter inch to a half inch. Push your safety up and let the slide come forward until it catches. Then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to twist the barrel all the way clockwise. And then just go ahead and release the slide holding on to it because it is under some spring pressure and there you go take the barrel out that's your field strip that's what I've been seeing people do all the freaking time like I, I didn't notice I didn't know how to do this or some damn thing and don't get me wrong it's it's helpful but call it a field strip in your damn video don't say it's a disassembly video I mean come on get, get with the program folks Okay, so anyway, let's get on to the easiest part of this, which is, okay, you take your slide apart, take your your spring out, and I got a little bowl here that I'll usually put things in, and take your firing pin out, I you got your barrel and your spring, put that all in there. Now the slide is super simplistic. To disassemble the slide, it's very simple. All you do is take a small punch. I'm sorry if you hear kids in the background. It's summertime, kids are playing outside in the sprinklers and making hell of a lot of freaking noise. Which is what kids do, apparently. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap, tap, tap this out. Comes out pretty easy. Then you're going to want to make sure you hold on to your extractor as you pull this out. It's not under a ton of spring tension, but you don't, don't want that flying out on you. So there's your extractor. Extractor spring. That is your slide disassembled. That is it. That's all there is to the slide. Very simple. Now, for the grip... Or for the for the frame, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off the grips. Don't really need to zoom in for this. I'm pretty sure the rest of you guys out there know how to unscrew a screw, pull the grips off a gun. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. All right, so here we go. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and what do I want to do first on this? I'll do the magazine release last. 
And first things first, let's go ahead and take this off. This is your trigger bar. You want to hold on to the trigger because it is under spring tension and it wants to jump out on you. So there's that. Your trigger bar. And your trigger bar just goes like this. You see that little nib on there? That goes right in here. And that's, that's how your trigger bar rests in the gun. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the uh, the safety. What you want to do is you want to tilt this up. Until it stops. And then what you can do is you want to make sure and hold this tight because there is a spring in there. See, that wants to jump out on you. Um, and then see... This is how this comes out. You've got this little uh, hole that matches the profile of this piece. So simple. And now this spring is your sear spring. Up here is your sear spring. And down here is um, your trigger bar return spring. So it's all one spring. Pretty simple. Now okay yeah what we want to do is we're going to take out this pin right here it can be difficult to get out um, I did I, I put these scrap mar scratch marks on here um, just to be able to line it up again uh, this is all hidden under the slide so I wasn't terribly concerned about it uh, but you just wanna go ahead and give that a tap to get it out of there it's not mine wasn't in um, terribly tight. I've heard about them being pretty tight before. Uh, mine wasn't. So just be aware that it can be tight. Now there's your sear pin. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and pull this out and everything will fall down. Or at least that one piece, your sear piece, will fall down. In theory. There we go has to come out this way. So there's your sear. Now, the only thing left to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap out. Uh, this is our disconnector and magazine spring. They're all one. Just give that a tap. Tap it on out. Tap it on out. It's coming out. There we go. Okay. And it is under some spring tension. Not a whole lot, but a little bit of spring tension. So just hold things together as you're pulling the uh, punch out. And there you go. There's your mag release. There's your disconnector. And there's your spring for the disconnector and the mag release. And it goes in the gun like this. Goes in this orientation in the gun. There's a little tiny hole in there that the spring fits in. You can see right there. So, very, very simple. Very simple. It does take... Uh, it, it's tricky to get together. Um, and you got to put it together in a specific order. But... Uh, I do have some tricks up my sleeve, uh, and I've been able to disassemble and assemble this successfully, and it functions fine. Um, so I worked out all the kinks with how how you should disassemble and assemble this gun, uh, and it's pretty simple once you know the order and the tricks. So I will be doing that next for this gun, however, and I'll be doing a video on this. Uh, next for this gun is going to be I'm going to reblue it um, because there's some. You can see this part right here where the bluing has gotten screwed up and it looks like a little bit of rust. Um, and I want to just clean this up nice, the whole thing, and I want to reblue it. I'm not going to do a cold bluing job though. I've got a video on, on cold bluing. I recently discovered that I've been uh, using Oxfo Blue, you know, which is Brownell's cold bluing stuff. I've been using it all wrong. Which is odd because I've been using it according to their directions. But I did uh, happen upon some information about how you can actually use this stuff to get a nice, deep, dark, 
um, finish and and not have you know be rubbing it on with Q-tips and getting all this uneven finish because I have never until now been able to get a decent finish with uh, cold bluing. So there there is a trick and it's an easy one. I'm not going to share it now. I'm going to make you watch the other video, but there's a pretty simple trick for how you can go ahead and just do some immersion bluing with. Uh, with this and that's my kids screaming in the black background sorry about that they're playing in the sprinklers and I'm about ready to go out there and uh, tell them off tell the neighbor kids to freaking go home because they bug the living hell out of me some damn neighbor kids not mine <laughs> anyway so I will be doing a, a complete rebluing on all of the parts of this so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the bluing on this and I'll, I'll have a video that shows all that but anyway this has been the disassembly of the baby browning uh, and it'll take me a little while because I'm rebluing this gun it'll take me a little while to get the assembly video out but it's really pretty simple the trickiest part um, is is getting this this uh, group together here uh, your disconnector uh, and your spring and your uh, mag release that is the trickiest part with this gun after after you have those in correctly then everything kind of just falls into place and it's not real difficult um, but I'll talk about that when I'm doing the assembly of this so anyway that's it I hope this helps some folks out there thanks for watching catch you next time